Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Vendors will begin moving into Paintsville on Thursday for this weekend's 54th Kentucky Apple Festival. Many of the vendors will require electricity and the tents that house the arts and crafts need lights. And for the past several weeks, students from Big Sandy Community and Technical College's Mayo Campus have been working on that project. Um, about a month before the festival, we bring all the electrical services out. We've got about 6,200 amp electrical services that we set around town. Van Hoos says there are close to 50 students enrolled in the electrical program and all of them have worked to make sure the vendors have the electricity they have requested. There's only so much you can learn inside of a classroom. It doesn't matter what kind of trainer that you have or what kind of simulator that you have. You know, we have roughly 60 services around here and every one of them have to be checked and we have to troubleshoot all of them and there's no better training. And although it has taken nearly a month to get the electricity run to the vendors, it will all come down in a matter of hours. Arts and crafts leave at 9 o'clock Saturday night. So all of these students that are out here today wiring all this up, they'll come back out Saturday night and we'll take it all back down. Um, the tents will come down Sunday morning, so we hope that we can be done before Sunday morning when they show up to take the tents back down. So we'll be out here, we'll be out here all night. Van Hoos, who also serves on the Apple Festival board, says they expect more than 100 vendors at this year's festival. Reporting in Paintsville for EKB News, I'm Shannon Diskins.